Oasis by Oasis. The song, Married with Children. Hi. I think that went exactly as planned. Standard tuning, standard tuning, standard guitar, standard everything. Uh, it starts with an E chord. You guys got some strumming, a couple little fills, a couple good times. The E chord is as follows. Top string open. Middle finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the top. And your pointer finger is gonna play the first fret on the third string from the bottom. The rest of the strings are all gonna be open. You're gonna play that chord. Here's the kind of rhythm we've got. We've got... We're gonna go like down, 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 up. Just something like that. The, the strumming is very loose for this song. There are a couple key spots where we have to play a specific rhythm. But in general, if you just go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. What do you say we do that a few times? Down, 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 ow. Down, 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 up. One, two. Karate chop Rochambeau. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Boom, boom, pow. Chicky, walk, walk. Dicky, tacky, hoy, hoy, hoy. What is happening? Hi, ho, wacky, wacky, bo. Mm. This finger's in bad shape. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all, oh, it's, it's ugly. Too many scratches. I have this stuff called skin repair. I'm gonna put it on my fingers and then I'm gonna be Superman. We do that E chord, but I tricked you. I set a trap for you. I told you to play the E like this because that's the standard way we play the E, but I have a challenge for you. What if you did it like this instead? What if you did ring finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, pinky on the second fret of the third string from the top, and then middle finger on that first fret of the third string from the bottom? Same chord, same notes, just different fingers. Why, why would I ask you to do this? Well, I'll show you. Because the next chord is a G sharp bar chord. And here's how, you, if you're playing the chord like this, you can go like this, just take these fingers, go move it over one, move it over two, Move it over three, move it over four. So I just moved it over four frets. So now my ring finger and pinky are on the sixth fret. My middle finger is on the fifth fret. Then take your pointer finger and just smash down on the fourth fret of all six strings. This is a G sharp bar chord. Remember, don't have your thumb over the top. Bring your thumb back here. If you're doing the E like this, you can just slide it to that. If you're doing an E like this, you can still get to the G sharp my G sharp bar chord. Not too, not too bad, not too hard. But if you're like this, look how much easier that is. All right, so we're going from the E right to the G sharp. So it's going down, 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 down up G sharp. Oh man, you kidding me? Not only do I have to play bar chords, but I have to get to them fast. Yeah, you do. But here's the little. Here's how you get to it quickly. On the E, we go down, down, down. But as you are strumming that last down up, start moving your fingers up to the chord during that strum. So then we're ready on the G sharp when it's time for it. Here's, watch this, watch. Down, 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 up, down. Did you see what I was talking about there? Let's do it one more time. One more time for old time's sake. Down, 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 up. Uh, and when you do it fast, it goes. Do you see what do you see what I'm talking about? Do the same strumming on the G sharp. Let's do it slowly as we transition from chord to chord as we strum that down up. This is hard, so I'm not expecting you to do this perfectly, but we can try. One, two, three, four. Down, that's way too fast. How about to go three? Four and a down, 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 up, down, 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 up. One more time. Two, a little bit slower. Down, down, down. Switch chords. Down, 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 down. Okay, great. After the G sharp chord, we're gonna go to a C sharp minor. Here's how you do this. You take all of your fingers and you move them down a string. It's still a bar chord. Your pointer finger is still smashing down on four. But now, uh, I, don't, I just do exactly what I said. You just take all your fingers and you move them down one like that. The tip of my pointer finger is just muting the top string. You can push on it if you want, but I think it sounds a little better if you just mute that top string. C sharp minor. On the C sharp minor chord, we're just gonna strum down, down. That's it. Then we go to an A chord. An A chord, sometimes you play like this, 
Sometimes you play it like this. For this song, I'm gonna recommend you play it like this for a couple different reasons, but we're not gonna get into it. So I would put your pointer finger, the tip of it, on the second fret of the third string from the top, and then just kind of flatten it out so it's pushing on the next two strings. So we have nothing on the top string, nothing on the second string from the top, then second fret, second fret, second fret, the bottom string, like, if you could get the bottom string open by getting your pointer finger out of the way right there, that's great, but let's be real. It's gonna be muted and that's gonna be fine. Also for this A chord, feel free to get your thumb up over here to mute the top string. I know it's a lot of stuff. You don't have to follow all these instructions. You can just follow some of them. Here's what we've got. E, G sharp, hey, C sharp, See that rhythm? When we do it up to speed, it goes. And then on this chord, just gonna strum down, down, up, or some, something like that. I think, yeah, let's see, we go ba, 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 down, down. We have to go to, well, let's, pra let's practice that one more time. One, two, not too fast. And a down, 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 switch, uh. You're thinking, um, Uncle Stewart, that was too fast. I don't know why you did it so fast. Well, let's learn the next part. Next part, not quite a bar chord. You're gonna put your pointer finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. You're gonna lay that finger flat. You would like the tip of your finger to mute this top string, if at all possible. But then all the rest of the strings, I'm just muting them. So I've got muted top, third fret on the second string from the top, and then a bunch of muted strings. Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. Looks like a bar chord, not actually a bar chord. You're gonna go. Just play that chord four times. Then you're gonna slide it backwards one fret. So now your pointer finger's on the second fret, ring finger and pinky are on the fourth fret, and if you can, smash down with your pointer finger and try to smash on all the strings on the second fret. You can use your middle finger to help your pointer finger smash down if you want. So that's. Then you go to this chord and you go two strums. This is called a B7. Oh, by the way, uh, this is called a C. This is called a B7. And then we go right back to E. So it's E, G sharp, C sharp minor, Is the, I don't know, is that the chorus? Is that the verse? I don't know what you call that part of the song. It's the A section of the song. We're gonna call it the A section. When they get to that final E, they do this cool thing that goes. So what that is, is you lift up your ring finger or whatever finger is playing the third string from the bottom. Oh no, did it just get all weird? Okay, hopefully we're okay. When you play that, you do it at you, uh, you, 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 and then did you ever, did you ever do, and then that, and then, and then you pull off your middle finger, you play that third string from the bottom open, then hammer on with your ring finger to that first fret, and then play the bottom couple strings strumming up. So it's, you do that twice. It's a little, little bluesy little thing. So then you put that all together and it goes. Oh, thank you, should go walk it, chicka, ba, ba, Apparently I go to this E sometimes. Well, we all have our different E's. We're entitled to them. You play that, you play that whole thing we just did twice for the introduction. Then you play it twice with the singing, great. Then we get to the first B section. Maybe it's the chorus, I don't know. They never say married with children in the song, so I don't know what the chorus is, what the verse is, it's unclear. You remember our A chord we were doing? You play that A chord, but add your ring finger to the third fret of the bottom string. So this is an A7 chord. We're gonna go down, 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 up, down, 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 up. That same strumming we were talking about earlier. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Then you go to an E. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. Back to the A7. Back to the E. Back to the A7. 
Back to the A7 Back to the E again Then we go to an F sharp Here's how you do that Take your pointer finger Smash down on everything on the second fret Put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top Pinky fourth fret third string from the top Middle finger third fret on the third string from the bottom You're just gonna go Back to the four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times there. Then you're gonna slide this all the way up to the fifth fret. Point our fingers on the fifth fret now. This is an A bar chord. You're gonna play one, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna go to the third fret. This is a G bar chord and play ba, ba, ba. Three times. That was a lot of stuff we just did. So that last part was F sharp. Uh, let's see. That was right. I did it right that time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All strumming down, just like a grand old flag. What do you say we play this whole B section, the chorus, or whatever? I hate the way that even though you section. One, two, and a one, two, three, four. I hate the way that. Don't you pow, chicky picky pow, a stank of banky ching wackety right? Oh, I hate the books you read. Yeah, I hate your friends. A shrimp bum 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 up all night. That was a little sloppy. Then we go back to the other part. Remember this? It's like your best friend now. You don't have to do that fill every time. I like doing it every time because it's fun to play. We play that part twice. Then you go back to the A7 part. You do that You do that part again. Then we go and we play the whole intro, the whole like verse, the A section part again. For the guitar solo. Now, I'm not gonna show you the guitar solo he plays. I think he just kind of makes it up and stuff. Maybe he does the same every time, I don't know. But if you were so inclined as to make up your own guitar solo, here's what you could do. I'm gonna show you the pentatonic scale that fits with this song. It's, you could think of it as the, the C sharp minor pentatonic or the E major pentatonic. It's up to you, they're, they're the same notes. Here's what it is. Ninth fret on the top string, then 12 on the top string, so nine, 12. Then it goes 9, 11 on the second string from the top, 9, 11 on the third string from the top, 9, 11 on the third string from the bottom, 9, 12 on the second string from the bottom, 9, 12 on the second string from the bottom. So it's 9, 12, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12, 9, 12. If you go backwards, 12, 9, 12, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12, 9. What do you do with the scale? You make up crap, and then while the chords are happening, you go. And it's a really fun time. You just make stuff up. A scale is just a group of notes that sounds good together, basically. So there you go. All right, there's one more part. There's the actual bridge bridge to the song. It starts with a C sharp minor. Do you remember that one? I'll show you again. It's Pointer finger, fourth fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, six on the third from the top. Pinky, six on the third from the bottom. Middle finger, five on the second string from the bottom. Your pointer finger, if you go ahead and mash down on everything. For this whole section, we're just gonna strum down a bunch. It goes down, 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 down on that C sharp minor. Uh, four times, if I, eight, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you just take this same thing, move it up a string. So now we're on the G sharp, but get rid of your middle finger and have your middle finger push down on your pointer finger. Now this is a G sharp minor chord. We've got four, six, six, four, four, four. Eight strums. Then we're gonna go to an A. You can do this A if you want, or you can do the A bar chord. The way you do the A bar chord, which is what I think they actually do in the song, is you take your G sharp minor bar chord we just did, move it over one fret, so now your pointer finger's on the fifth fret, and then add your middle finger to the sixth fret of the third string from the bottom. Eight strums, then you go to E. That was C sharp minor would be nice. Be 
along for a week or two. Then we do it again. Except, instead of going to E, you're gonna take this A and you're gonna move it two frets up to the seventh fret, which is a B bar chord. And you're gonna go. This part's great. So we've got that B bar chord on the seventh fret. Then you just move that over one, two frets. So now your pointer finger's on the fifth fret. Then you move it over, that's the A bar chord. Then we go one fret over, pointer finger's on the fourth fret and have your middle finger push down on your pointer finger. It's a G sharp minor, we did it earlier. And then F sharp major, which is you put your middle finger back on the third fret of that second string from the bottom. And we do that twice, so it goes. Then we go back to a back to wacky to wack up and pow. And they play through that. Then when they get to the very, very end, they go, Then they have this little cool ending chord. This this has a nickname. They call it the Hendrix chord after a human being that is also named Hendrix. You're going to put your middle finger on the seventh fret, the second string from the top, pointer finger six on the third string from the top, ring finger seven, third string from the bottom, and then your pinky, the key note on the eighth fret of the second string from the bottom. You can play all the strings. E7 sharp nine is its official name. It just gives the song a nice bluesy ending, am I right? And that's how you play Married with Children, Oasis by Oasis. This is gonna make you mad, but when the, when the, I forget which brother is which, when the one who's not the regular singer does this song by himself, he doesn't do bar chords, he plays it in the key of G. He just plays like G's and C's and D's and stuff. Aren't you mad I taught you this version? 